it goes without saying that economic development is a team sport. And so when you have your universities there, your educational institutions, um, your workforce development boards, your, your, your workforce investment boards, I should say, uh, when you have these other partners that are part of this spectrum of activities that, that work towards the success of economic development, when people see there's more people on board with it, it just resonates better, you know? The traditional partners would be those leaders in the community that you know may you know constitute your board or your membership or your investors you know that would be your business leaders your government leaders and your institutional leaders you know university presidents healthcare executives philanthropic uh, leaders but there are a lot of other partners in the community that you might not think are the are really big message senders but they are you know leaders of other of charitable organizations of arts and culture organizations, of sports organizations, of convention and visitors bureaus, um, so many, um, so many community partners that really understand the value of economics in the community, and therefore they want to be uh, partners and champions with you to help the community grow and prosper. Beyond that, um, there are organizations that are involved, like incubators and accelerators colleges, universities, community colleges. Um, those are some of our great partners. Um, International American Chamber um, partners that we have. Uh, and then even at the federal level, like the SBA and U.S. Commercial Service Department of Commerce. Uh, when I think of all the partners that we've cultivated over the years, precisely because we need them as champions, we, we need them to help tell their constituencies and others that we're doing good work and we're doing it together. I work in a regional group, so we have a lot of key partners. And I think, you know, the three big uh, areas are obviously the governments are the key. Um, they are the kind of the foundation of economic development. And we have the private sector. We have private sector investors that are very involved and, and not only in funding, but in time and resources they're putting in. And then the whole nonprofit sector is big, from education to other training groups, to bio councils, you name it, cluster councils. And even, a, we're spending a lot of time now working with our tourism folks, because as we are out there marketing and trying to bring in companies, they're doing marketing also, trying to bring in visitors, but also raise, we're both raising the profile of our community. In my case, if it's a city government, uh, I'm looking at the uh, county, at the region, at the state. I'm looking at workforce development providers and often those organizations that are handling our workforce boards uh, and the work they're doing. I'm looking at educators in our community and that's K through 12 as well as higher ed. And so convening um, uh, our, our community colleges as well as our universities, we need all those players at the table and we need them to be supportive and collaborative in the way we work together to create jobs and opportunity in the community. And then I think your residents and your stakeholders, your private business partners, your local employers who are your best ambassadors because they know what it's like to do business in your community, they are absolutely very important.